Redditors who have eaten at the Times Square Olive Garden, why? I have a buddy who goes there when he is breaking up with someone. He doesn't want to ruin any other restaurants. He's back again? Hey, my dad, though now very wealthy, was raised with nothing. As such, he thinks that upscale chains like Red Lobster, Cheesecake Factory, and Olive Garden are fancy. Our first family trip to NYC. He wanted to really knock our socks off with the finest opulence he could think of dinner at the Times Square Og. That's really sweet. Sounds like you have an awesome dad. This reminds me of my mom as here my brother and I were raised in an essentially single parent home. My mom didn't have much but always tried to make best with what she had. We had a friend who came from a much better off home. Our friend's mother was a snooty bitch though. Even when I was younger I could tell she looked down on us and mom because our mom wasn't married to a Ford manager and didn't get a nice allowance from her husband. Anyway our friend would always talk about going out to eat at what we thought were amazing places. Outback Steakhouse is what we thought was the finest things could get and our buddy would go out to eat there every week. My mom knew this and decided to take us there because we always talked about it and we wanted to have the best steaks in the world. I still remember that meal. Fuck I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. So a few days or maybe a week later our friend's mom came over and dropped off her son and the first fucking thing we told him was about our trip to Outback. Our friend was like cool but his bitch kept mother was like don't get too excited son it's just Outback. Of course she said that right in front of my mother knowing that was the best she could do. She stopped bringing him over shortly after that but we got the last laugh. In my early 20s I saw her again when I was working at a retail store while I was at school. She smugly asked, so what are you doing with your life now, thinking that this was the best I could ever do and I got to tell her that I just graduated nursing school and passed my NCLEXX a monsieur. Getting to see her stupid smug face turn to a nice shade of embarrassment red was one of the more satisfying experiences I've ever had. Fuck you Wendy. Yay. Fuck Wendy. Friend's birthday. I ordered the chicken Alfredo. I shit you fucking not they brought me plain noodles. When I asked where the chicken and cheese was they said it was coming. 10 minutes later they brought me chicken. Still no cheese. To this day I have not received it. I just talked to the kitchen and they said it'll be out very soon. Thanks for your patience. Night 2008 tickets. Me and So were in NY for a week. Obviously wanted to see the ball drop but didn't want to spend an entire day freezing in the street. Sections. Got tickets to Olive Garden. The food was fine and there was an open bar of top shelf spirits. Basically. Open bar. Edit. Well. I go to sleep for a few hours and this has gone a bit mad. To answer some of the questions. I think anyone as a tourist will want to have a quintessential experience. As a Brit, Irish pair we were cramming in as much to the trip as we could. The tickets were for the Og meal and drinks on night. It got us access to all of the closed streets getting to Times Square. We got to see the ball drop but were warm and had access to a toilet. Jets game was versus Miami Dolphins. I have no idea who won. But the experience was fun. Except the getting back into Manhattan part. Redditors who have been to Times Square New Year's Eve, why? Redditors who have left your house, why? Ran out of Doritos and Mountain Dew and Amazon Prime 2-hour delivery wasn't in my area yet. Man, some of you guys just really hate doing things don't you? I love doing things. I've done a lot of things. And I wanna do a lot more things. But night at Times Square sounds like so much crowded, annoying bullshit that I would never enjoy. I know this guy who gloats about how he is Mr. Sophisticated. So I was on a business trip with him to Louisiana and we saw an Olive Garden. His jaw dropped and he proclaimed the only other Olive Garden I've been to is in Times Square, New York City. Quote. And he made us go there thinking it was the only other Olive Garden in existence. Amazing. Where are you from? Texas.
We felt like going for the salad. The service there was excellent. 10 out of 10 would go there to have my credit card info stolen again. Donkey is that you? Reminds me of the time Donkey beat Sky at Smash. I was on a school trip and I'm assuming it was the cheapest option for 100 kids to eat. Greater than for 100 kids to eat those poor employees. When I worked as a waiter we had a Spanish teacher bring a total of 6 of her classes to our restaurant over a period of 2 weeks. The first Monday was 3 classes and the second Monday was the next 3. A little over 60 kids each time. There was 4 of us scheduled for both of these day. 4 people to take care of these little monsters and then whatever other patrons came through the door. Fuck. The place literally looked like it was hit by a tornado. Also a kid threw up at a table on the second date because his friends mixed coke, chocolate milk, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, salsa, ground beef and rice in a cup and dared the kid to drink it. They said they would give him $4 to do it. Did he get his money? I can think of one good reason to eat there. If you have a reservation there on New Year's Eve you are allowed through the barricades to access the restaurant. Basically, you can party in Times Square for New Year's without having to spend the whole day there camping. Went to college in NYC during Hurricane Sandy, with the power out for a few days after. My roommates and I went out looking for food and electricity. Midtown still had power. We convinced ourselves that the Times Square Olive Garden was a better option than fighting for outlets in an ATM vestibule. $25 for 4 hours of charging my phone. Unlimited breadsticks. And drinks. Marginally worth it. Three-fifths would do it again next hurricane. I can answer this one. In 2008, I was sent to NYC to attend a management training class near Times Square. I was very junior, entry level and I think that my boss really just wanted to let me go on the trip. As a perk. Anyway, we had a variety of people in our class from other companies who wanted to go out to lunch. Olive Garden is relatively cheap and could seat a large group. We did the never-ending soup salad and breadsticks lunch. At the time, I thought it was good. However, I've since realized that I had a corporate card and could have had a much better meal. American Management Association? Yes. The class seemed like a total show monsieur I didn't find it to be worthwhile. But I did get a trip to NYC out of it. I'm dying at how stupidly simple and funny this is. I am dying because I ate at Olive Garden, sad face. I pooped in there once. It felt like ocarina of time trying to dodge all the people that would kick me out because you aren't supposed to poop in there unless you are eating there. They are very explicit about this but I was sneaky, and I succeeded, I pooped. I know this doesn't answer your question, but I've never told anyone I pooped in there before and I needed at least one person to know. Greater than it felt like ocarina of time trying to dodge all the people that would kick me out because you aren't supposed to poop in there. You must have played a very different version of ocarina of time than I did. I think he's referring to when you get in Hyrule Castle as a kid and you have to sneak around the guards to get to Zelda. He's referring to the part of the Ocarina of Time when Link has to poop and all the people try to kick you out. As a non-American, these comments are funny, but I am totally lost at it. Rip my ink box. I ate at the TGIF in Times Square at a friend's request. I wasn't pleased. His logic applies though, he wanted to see how the experience would be different in a massive city's iconic area, kind of like going to McDonald's when you go to Asia, or whatever. The result, exactly the same, but busier and more expensive, and more disappointing as it meant we missed eating at some other local place instead. I had a friend do this when we were in Moscow with McDonald's. He just wanted to try it to say he did and see if it was different since he had grown up seeing those pictures of insane lines around the clock when they got the first one. All in all it was the same crappy fast food as in the US. Slightly more expensive, and we found out that it's apparently where annoying teenagers go to hang out in the city.
We did get one of the cashiers super excited about trying out her English though. Which was cute. McDonald's in Morocco is like the fanciest, busiest place in every city I've been to so far. Weddings. Parties. Anything you can think of are held there. The Sabaro at Times Square is the best pizza in NY though. Gonna get me a New York slice. It's the heart of civilization right there. Breadsticks. The breadsticks at Olive Garden, at least in my area, are a shadow of what they used to be. Barely any butter and dry as shit. I hope they'll be restored to their former glory someday. LOL. 1996 Olive Garden bread was great. Modern Olive Garden bread is something you would use to break car windows. Dude, the Red Lobster Cheddar Biscuits are clearly superior. Not Olive Garden but the TGI Fridays. I arrived in Times Square a few years back kinda late and was waiting for a friend to get back to me. It was about December or so and was absolutely brutal out and that's where I decided to go in and grab a pint. Bartender ended up being a friendly enough dude and now I stop in every time I happen to go to the city and chat with him and catch up. I had just gotten out of a relationship and was thinking about moving across state. I ended up staying in my city but I stopped in about a year after the first time I went in to see if he was working and when I walked in the door and saw him he said, I thought you were moving? Quote. He earned my loyalty. I always wondered what a bartender in one of those chain places in Times Square is pulling. I feel like in the end maybe it would just even out to like every other location since you have tourists from all over the world. Some used to tipping and some not. I've always wanted to waltz in and ask them but I feel like even going, yeah. I used to bartend in, just sounds super douchey. Not quite Times Square, but I once got drinks at a TGIF-like place in a big international airport. The bartender was one of the best I've ever had. Other than a bar bath, he was taking care of approximately 15 people alone while doing drink trips and getting to know pretty much every customer. There were at least three or four travelers who were obviously regulars for high monsieur. It calmed down after an hour or so and I got to talk with him for a bit. Apparently he pulls in significantly more than he did at his late night club gig in the city. He told me that instead of working Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights he would work Monday to Thursday days and make the same money, sometimes more. He was also sick of working the party hour weekend shifts. The atmosphere was relaxed and allowed him to get to know the customers better, which led to him having a bunch of regulars. Anecdotal for sure, but I can imagine that it's not uncommon for bartenders in high traffic tourist areas to make bank. I've only been to New York once, and I ate at Applebee's. The family friend who offered to show us around, Reed, invited herself on our vacation, insisted, all the while bragging because it was the world's biggest Applebee's. Definitely, one of the worst trips of my life. I'm so sorry. Literally ate there yesterday. It's super weird to see this post. The best I can say is desperation. My girlfriend and I had never been to New York before, so we spent the whole day seeing the city. Skipped lunch. So by 9.30 when we walked by it we were starving. The smell er dissing. There you go. I think the other part of it was due to our lack of experience in New York. My girlfriend and I have never been to New York, don't know anything about New York, and we're alone without someone who knows anything about eating in New York. Given that, we had no idea how to pick between the million hole-in-the-wall places to eat in New York. May as well go with something we know we sort of like. I think that location is preying on people with this mindset, hence why it's situated in the middle of a tourist hotspot like Times Square. They got us. Edit. For everyone offering suggestions. Thank you. I'll de visit as many as I can next time I'm in New York. For everyone wondering why we didn't Google somewhere. I should add that that we both like Olive Garden well enough. We weren't really opposed to eating there. We were also hungry enough that eating there sounded more appealing than walking 10 minutes somewhere. Else. 
We mostly planned our trip around all the stuff we wanted to see. Food was secondary, so we usually just stopped and ate the nearest thing when we got hungry enough. If it's any consolation, the next day we did eat brunch at a local cafe where I had a great Belgian waffle and a true hole-in-the-wall Italian place with much better food than Olive Garden. At a better price to boot. One word, Yelp. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.